Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com, your boy is back and out and did it again one more time. Guys, today we have something special for you guys. You guys have seen me review portfolios. Today we're actually going to review somebody's application. All right, guys? So stay tuned. Watch this. Guys, so now we're going to do the review for findthatcosplay.com. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I, I like it. I actually like the idea because you could come here and you know click on random. It'll search for one, and it'll find you like some images. You know, people dressed up in cosplay. Like this is funny. <laughs> I don't know why this guy is smoking a cigarette outside. Um, but yeah, you could come here, click on random, search for other ones, see what it shows up. Okay, a couple of girls. I don't know why girls be loving this so much, man. Like, <laughs> so many girls are into cosplay. What's cool about this is that he also said that he built this this uh, website because his girlfriend is actually into this. So, because she's into this, he said, you know what? Maybe there's a lot of people that are, are also into this and they want to find that cosplay. You know what I mean? So, let me see how, if they got some Dragon Ball. Let me see if, if we find something. Okay, there you go. Some Dragon Ball Z cosplay. Let me see. Damn, show you looking. If you don't look that bad, you know what I mean. Like it kind of looks exactly like Android 18. That's dope. All right, so this is pretty cool. It's a good website. It's a niche audience that he has here, you know, and it serves a purpose. Now, I'm going to be honest. The thing that I will say about this. It's just the user experience. Like, I would definitely fix a lot of things here. Like, you can actually make this images popping up here in a nicer design. Maybe some animation showing up when they load up, you know, each one of them animate. Um, you can also, you know, the fact that you have the tags here like this and the search button here and the random button here like I don't know like the user experience is not that easy like especially for me when I first came in I was like I didn't know what to do I was like okay what is this there's tags here and it's like I'm thinking of search searching something and I was going looking for the button up here like okay what's the search button Okay, and then I had to come back down. I'm like, wait, the search button is here at the left. If the search button was going to be anywhere, it should be at the right. Because when somebody types something here, they're looking for the button to continue on the right side. They're not looking for it on the left side because the left side is like a previous button or uh, a cancel button. Like people are always looking for the right side, no matter what. Right. Another thing that I will say is. If you're going to put in the option to search for different conventions, um, I think this shouldn't be here. What should be here should be just the search, like a search field of the tags and make it more obvious. Like just having an underline under, it, you know, a little underlying border. It just doesn't it doesn't tell me like, hey, this is actually a field. Plus the fact that you see how, let me see, like, I don't know, like, it's just the user experience of it is off. You got to work on that, right? Like, these things need to be set up in another way. Like, this thing should be like in a, a, a little link under it where it says filter and you will click on filter and then it will show conventions. It will show the, the year because this shouldn't be here on top. Now, let me see what other pages we have here. This is cool. Gives them a little about about it. Um, I mean, the design, the color is cute. It's, it's nice. It's, it's all right. It's just you got to put in a little bit more love into it when it comes to, you know, the user experience for sure. Just because I can definitely no, like I know for sure, <laughs> like if you come in and you create a nice design, nice user experience, people are going to come in and flock this website because this is a great freaking dot com. I don't even know how how you even got that dot com. You know what I mean? Like find that cosplay 
cosplay.com or cosplay i don't know how you say it cosplay or cosplay i guess he's using angular 1.6 which is cool which also tells you guys you know sometimes people be like man we got to use angular uh 2 angular 5 angular 4 guys angular 1.5 1.5 1.65 like it's still doing the same job that you are going to do with you know angular 5 react or etc right it's still doing the same job you know what i mean so it's not about the stack it's more about what you're trying to create all right so that's definitely a plus there the dot com is a good name the title of it is a good name um everything here is is good on uh, the fact that it just needs a little work on the user experience besides that everything is legit i enjoyed it and now what's cool about this is he went out of his way and shared it in the right format right in the right platform because if you're gonna create something like this you want to show it to the people that care about this so he came in shared it on on reddit he's like hey my girlfriend had trouble finding pictures of her cosplay on instagram so i created a cosplay search engine that lets you filter by convention year and as many instagram hashtags as you like all right and then from there 912 people get basically gave it upvotes and currently right now he has 101 comments which means it's pretty popular. I'm pretty sure he got a lot of people coming in here. And what's cool about this, this is the right audience. So and whenever there's people that actually do cosplay and they actually dress up and, you know, they come here to the website, they're going to be like, okay, cool. We're going to go to findthatcosplay.com and you will find your image there. All right. Instead of you having to deal with all the issues of Instagram, even though now Instagram is, I think, they adding uh, the hashtags like you could follow a hashtag, etc. But this is cool because you can come in here and put in multiple hashtags and it'll filter it out for you. OK, so this is pretty legit. Now, the only thing that I will say too, besides having, you know, a little better user experience is you have to have some type of advertising here, like you having this website up online and there's no advertising on it you're losing money right now because <laughs> this website's hot people are going to come in here you know uh, this thing is going to show up on google search results so you want to actually have some way to monetize this either by sharing uh affiliate links from amazon where you could sell your you know not sell but promote other people's uh, cosplay so like let's say somebody comes in and be like, okay amazon.com and let's say cosplay all right now you could literally take this and promote this and add it to your your search results right so you could have it i don't know maybe on the side be like hey check out this cosplay or create another page where it'll be like a blog or uh, you could share like let's say uh, top uh, costumes for uh, cosplay you know etc and all of them linking back to this affiliate link from Amazon now this is this is great for you you know what I mean like you could literally come in and make some money out of this you know I could guarantee you could make at least a thousand dollars per month on this website alone you know what I mean so hopefully you you know you listen to me and <laughs> you know people enjoy this this type of new content that i'm creating for you guys which is you know hey let's start talking about how can we make money as developers with the skills that we have already you know what i mean so not only are we learning how to become better developers and we're learning how to get our first job but hey how about also making money you know on the side like just because you have a certain skill doesn't mean that you have to just be a worker you could actually come in and create your own web app your own platform to you know use it as a business and if you have multiple websites like this like let's say this website is making a thousand dollars per month if you have four or five websites like this that's five thousand dollars per month if you notice that this website is super popular then now you come in and you make this website even better instead of just having just a search engine you come in and, and add extra things to it you know add a store add um you know add a blog add a um you know 
a, 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 ver, a place where people who could vote for which one has the best uh, cosplay. And literally, you could take the same API that you're using and have it show up randomly. So, and like, let's say you could search uh, Dragon Ball, right? So when Dragon Ball shows up, right, and you search this, you'll be like, okay, show one image from the first one that shows up in the API and show me the, the seventh one or the ninth one, right? And let's say this one, right? For example, so now you have a, a vote. We were like, who has the best cosplay or do something like Pokemon? Like, uh, who's that cosplay? Like, and have people vote or, or write, write down the, the right name of the, the character, like little things like that. You start expanding on it. Like this is a small idea that can become a huge idea, right? And it can become very profitable. All right. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys really enjoy this. So I'll see you guys later. And yeah, if you have any applications that you guys have created, any type of service that you guys have created, also send it to me. If you have portfolio that you want me to review, also send it to me. I will review them. Okay, guys, I will give you my honest opinion and that's all I can do for you guys. All right. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video and guys go check out codingphase.com man. like literally like I'm telling you right now, man, you're not going to find any better deal than this. You know, literally all the courses that you might need to become a developer. You know, you have the timeline and as you can see, I've created a timeline for you guys to tell you the things that you need to learn, you know, in order. Right. So if you want to get into this and you're like, hey, man, I already know HTML and CSS. Well, continue down here. Build a responsive app, advanced CSS, SAS like a pro, pug template engine, future proof JavaScript. Right. All of those things are things that you're going to need as a developer. And then, of course, like I said, I have other courses that are connected to this, which is to expand your career. Right. Which I will be adding to this section here. In this career section, I will add uh, the section how to make money uh, independently. You know, I know how to code. Now what? This is pretty much the guide on what to do after you get, a, you know, get all the skills. How do you find a job? How do you go to interviews? What are the websites that, you know, have the best recruiters? Like all those things are here. All right. So my whole goal for this website is just to give you guys the best, you know, content and we could continue doing this on youtube every day dropping a new video here for you guys all right so i'll see you guys later see your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com pow hey guys this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website codingphase.com go check it out over 20 courses in there that's gonna guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro making sure that you get a job making sure that you come in and you learn all the skills on how to make money on your own as an independent either a freelancer or if you decide to make passive income all right go check us out peace